Hello, welcome to another episode of Profiles. I'm your host, Michael Short. And in this episode, I had the great pleasure of interviewing and having a conversation with Andrew Palmer from the Elegant Marketplace. He not only is the founder of it, but he also manages uh, dealing with the developers, uh, product updates, and just general maintenance of the Elegant Mar Marketplace website. He also is the owner of Layouts Cloud and uh, the plugin called Comment Love, which is a favorite among bloggers, and is the co-owner with a guy named Sean Barton of Page Builder Cloud. So Andrew does a lot of things. He has his hands in a lot of businesses. He also has his own online consultancy in the UK, which is under the name of Somebody's Hero. And he just has so much to offer. And hopefully you enjoy this conversation as much as I did. So without further ado, let's just jump right on in. Andrew, welcome to the show, and thank you for coming. Thanks very much. Thanks for the invite. Awesome. Glad to be here. I'm glad you're here, for sure. I, I've seen and heard a lot about you through you know, being online and on the various um, Facebook groups and whatnot, and so I was excited to hear, you know, have you on the show, and thank you, for again, for sh showing up onto this. So tell oh, us a little bit about yourself and kind of how you got started, because like, you know, prior to this um, us recording, you mentioned a lot of different things that you're involved in, so I'm interested in sharing that with the group. Well, I kind of, you know, quick synopsis. I think I may have been through this on a couple of other um, podcasts. But I left home at 16 and then immediately realized that I didn't really like working for people as an employee. So by the time I was sort of 18, I was out there setting up a window cleaning business and going around with a ladder on my back and cleaning windows with a couple of partners, uh, Terry and Steve, their name was. So it's ATS window cleaning services. So, you know, basically just trying to earn money for ourselves and build a business. And we, we, we did that very successfully around Windsor uh, in Berkshire, which is where the Queen has a castle. You know, we've got the nice Windsor Castle there. So there was quite some aff affluent people, and we all know that affluent people, they work so that they don't have to do the dirty jobs like cleaning windows. So we, you know, I was literally out there cleaning windows for people for a couple of years. Wow. And then realized that other people wanted to buy that business so they bought you know i sold my window cleaning round you know terry and steve kind of um lasted about a year you know once you start climbing up ladders in the winter and you're cleaning all these leaded light windows you kind of realize that it's not the easiest job in the world so i managed to sell the round and from selling the round i managed to buy a motorcycle went up to london decided to be a motorcycle courier and then Within six months, I was working in the office of the Motorcycle Couriers, and then three of us got together, and we bought it from the current owner, or the, the, the owner of the, of the time. So the, we then expanded that into about six dispatch companies. And then I went off, um, I sold that, managed to sell that to a bigger company, went off, set up another dispatch company, sold that, wow. uh, and eventually got into printing. Um, and I thought that was a good idea. So I was a print rep for about 10 months and I thought, no, I don't really want to work for these guys anymore. I'll do it myself. So again, set up another printing company and was very lucky. We've got a very large, um, cable company in this country called NTL or it used to be called NTL. It's now called Virgin Media. Um, and it's part of the Virgin group, but I was the sole supplier of all NTL's, uh, print. Mm. Um, and graphics so all their vehicle livery all the business cards all the stationery all the forms it came to around about six or seven million pounds worth of print and then we have another big business in this country called talk talk they're, they're the second largest internet service provider so they provide people with you know internet connectivity and i help them launch that with the production of around about 10 million cds over about three years so you know in business on the business, in the marketing business, getting people promoted, that sort of thing really came to me. And my guys in the printing company, they were kind of about my age now. You know, I'm reaching 60 in May, which is, I know that's astounding to everybody. But, you know, you've got to, you've got to think 30 years ago, the internet was just starting. And I said to my guys who are about the same age as I am now, come on, we need to get into the internet. And they went, oh, do you know what, we're nearly retiring. We can't really be bothered with that. Uh, so about 10 years ago, maybe 12 years ago, I got into, the, into WordPress. I've been using Joomla and, um, and using uh, Macromedia, you know, what, whatever it's called now, Dreamweaver, right. um, to build websites and coding. Went to college for a, on a night school, learned how to use Flash, Dreamweaver, a bit of HTML coding, Notepad, 
C plus whatever it was, the programming language at the time, but then got into Joomla CMS. And then my friend said, you really got to get into WordPress and WordPress one. So it was as basic as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got now we have people complaining about page builders and I say, <laughs> well, 21st century problems, guys, you know, <laughs> yeah, all right. no kidding, huh? you know, the learning curve that we had with WordPress and Dreamweaver and, and doing HTML and even building, uh, you know, websites for Netscape, you know, mm. just people. Now I talk to youngsters, these youngsters these days, and I say Netscape and they go, what? You know, they yeah, right. And then they see the kind of websites that were built. They were literally Word documents with a header, maybe, you know, and now we've got, the ability of these page builders and advanced custom fields and all these plugins that we can use 50,000 on the repository. You know, we've got probably six, 500 on elegantmarketplace.com as well. And that's going to increase. We're, we're just about to add about 30 plugins onto elegant marketplace, which is great. So that's my history really getting into WordPress 10 years ago, or maybe 12 years ago. Um, when it was in its infancy, you know, it had been around for about two or three years by then, I think, and ringing my friend Mark Copeman and saying, I hate you and love you. How do I use this system? You're, you've caused me a real headache by persuading yeah. me to do WordPress. But then you get used to it, don't you? Uh, and so that's me, really, you know, the last 30 years in about, I don't know, two minutes. That's yeah, yeah, no problem. The last did, 50 years, 40 years. How did yeah. Elegant um, Marketplace come come along? Well, Elegant Marketplace was actually the idea of a guy called Gino Huiros, who lives in Monterey Bay. Um, and he approached about six of us, uh, five, no, about seven of us, actually. One of the, one of them was a, was actually working, one guy was working for Elegant Themes, who made the Divi theme at the time. I think it was around about Divi 1. Um, and saying about, you know, child, being, building child themes, let's go in. I was an SEO specialist, and that's why I was approached. Uh, Gino dropped out pretty pretty soon. Um, he, as soon as we launched, he got very ill. You know, he's not he wasn't very well at the time. He's much better now, which is good. Mm, that's good to hear. Um, and he decided to do his own marketplace a, a little while later as well. And then people just dropped out. You know, they just went, went by their own ways because it's hard work, you know, 16, 17 hours a day working building up the Divi Theme Users Group, which is now owned by Elegant Marketplace, uh, Elegant Themes, and then doing, you know, just trying to build this business from scratch. We were t totally bootstrapped. I mean, we all put $100 into it. You know, six of us eventually put $100 into it, bootstrapped it, and, and just reinvested, reinvested. Any money we earned as a marketplace, we just put it straight back in. Uh, and yeah, five years later, we are, or nearly five years later, the, the anniversary is the 15th of February. Oh wow! Um, Happy anniversary. Twenty fifteen, we we actually ha registered the domain name, um, and or I registered the domain name because mm -hmm. um, you know there's certain things that you have to do, and so we, you know we got on to it very very quickly. Um, and all the all the f former partners, you know, they they kind of left amicably. One didn't, you know, one died unfortunately, you know, and, and you kind of just have to just carry on and think, well, do, do you want to carry on with this? And I think if you build a business like this, you have a responsibility, you know, there's, you've, you've persuaded people to buy products from your vendors because then, you know, we don't own the products. Right. Uh, the vendors have, have been kind enough to let us sell their products on their behalf. And we get a commission for, for that because we spend money on marketing and servers and all that kind of stuff. But then over five years, we've built up something like 80,000 customers, you know, who've wow. bought products from us. And you have that responsibility to maintain that business because people want to go back in and download the product that they bought maybe even five years ago. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know, where is it? And we say, well, it's still there, but we might have deprecated it or paused it or put it into draft so that we don't sell it anymore. But you can still... Anybody that bought a product five years ago can hit us on support. And it's, if it's not on the marketplace anymore, we can still send them a copy of it. Um, and I think you know, as a marketplace owner, you've got that responsibility to keep your customers, one, informed and two, supported. You know? So that's the key really behind having a business like this. So throughout the years, you kind of think the ups and downs of it. You think, is this worth it? You know, it's really hard work. We've probably moved servers six times we've probably, <laughs> because of the growth. We've probably redesigned it five times because of the growth and people saying your UX is rubbish. And we say, okay, well, you know, we're not really designers, but we'll we'll do our best. <laughs> so, um, and then um, 
you know, as I say, you just you just have to keep it going. Um, yeah. And again, with my agency in the UK, I have a little agency called Somebody's Hero.co.uk. And we've also got pagebuildercloud.com and layoutscloud.com as well, which is all around the page builder markets and, and really making sure that people can really utilize them the best they can. And that's, yeah, it. that's me in a nutshell. That's great. Let's talk about those, actually. It's pretty interesting because, as you know, I come from the WAS space. At least that's kind of where I'm making my mark anyways. Sure. And, um, and I know page builder. I'm not page builder. The Yeah, yeah, page builder cloud is you know something that could be utilized inside of a was it could be a great tool right is that something? oh it, it's a phenomenal tool it's a very simple idea we we did divi cloud which was eventually turned into layouts cloud okay. um because i wanted to do layouts cloud as page builder cloud but we couldn't get the coding right and we also didn't want to um we didn't want to supply layouts we wanted it to be a a very specific thing, almost a Dropbox for page builders mm. um, or people who are using page builders. So you can save your pretty much any page builder out there that people have heard of. So Beaver Builder, WP Bakery, Divi, Elementor, Gutenberg, you know, all those page builders and more. I think we've got 22 oh, wow. integrations of different things, including advanced custom fields and Ninja forms, Gravity forms, uh, WS form, you know, all these great little little programs that people need to, to use. So you can save those to the cloud. So say you build a form with WS form. It's a very, quite a great, it's a great drop and drag, drop and drag form builder. Mm -hmm. So you've made this form and it's awesome. And you've put all the logic in there and you've put everything else that you need in there. And you think, how do I, how do I download that? How do I save that? How do I make sure that, <laughs> that that work is there? I don't want to export it with XML. I'll just, click a button and save it to my cloud. Then next time I, lo I log on, I upload page builder cloud plugin, boom, my form's there. And my Elementor pages or my Poodle Press pages are there or my Brizy, you know, or Brizy, I don't know how to say that name. Breezy, Bri it's Breezy. So it's, there, all the pages are there. Yeah, you know, yeah. If you're using a particular plugin, it will show you the layouts from those plugins. And if you're using them all, it will just show you a, a whole, a bunch of plugins that you're saying we've we just added bulk save as well so if you've got oh, wow. a website that has got multiple pages you just click all of them and say bulk save to the cloud and there it, there it is it does it it's crazy isn't it that is awesome now you guys all for 99 dollars a year are we mad i know i think so it sounds like it yeah <laughs> I think it does quite a bit for that now your plans are to continue to grow that and keep adding to oh, it. Oh, big time! Yeah, we we are adding to it pretty much every day. We've done, we've had a look at the interface, the user interface for the developer because it is for developers really. It's not for end users. You know, your your average person who's going to go out there and build their own website. They, there's no reason for them to have it. So it's for developers and designers who are specifically using page builders and advanced custom fields and lots of forms and stuff. So it's aimed at that and and, it, and i'm saying about the price i mean i'm thinking about how much i want to pay for a facility like that as a developer you know we've all got as developers we've all got these peppercorn payments you know these was products that we're buying these <laughs> you know there's always these lifetime deals as well and you're thinking goodness by the time you add it all up and in fact i did an exercise about six months ago and i i saved a thousand dollars a month by stopping the subscriptions to things that I wasn't actually using. The housing bucks. I was using only, yeah, because I was, you know, I was like a, um, I was just, yeah, I want that. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh -huh. have that, you know. <laughs> $29 objects. or 20, 10 bucks a month or something. Yeah, I can afford that. And then all of a sudden you've got all these, as I say, peppercorn payments, it's $900. You think, God, I've got to, <laughs> got, to get, got to get rid of those, you know. Um, so I wanted something that was, Priced well enough to be attractive to professionals, but also very affordable for people that wanted to grow into this kind of business. Mm. So, you know, 99 bucks a year, I think, is, is a bargain for Page Builder Cloud. And it's also so useful. You know, it's all about, we talk about reusing content all the time for marketing. Why don't we talk about reusing content for de developing websites? You know, there are... Yeah. Lots of things that we can use in there. So the next stage is sections and modules of the page builder. Save them separately. Oh, wow. And the big one is, um, it's, which is going to be first, is converting Divi to Gutenberg. So if you've built a Divi website, press a button and it will convert as much of it 
as it can into Gutenberg and put it into the relevant nice. blocks. So there's some yeah. mapping going on there. And that's, there's no secret on that. We've said we wanted to do that first. And as soon as we do it with Divi, we'll have learned all the lessons and then we can do it with the, all the other play, uh, page builders. And, you know, because they're all built in, in different ways. Obviously, Divi is yeah. very React based. Um, so, and it's, it's got so many short codes, it's silly. So it would be better to, <coughs> you know, do that divvy first and then go into say the, all the other page builders and see where, where we can go so i'm just going to close my email down nice. right, there you go uh so that's it really that's um page builder cloud is is kind of a, came on from layouts cloud which was specifically for divvy mm. so layouts cloud is 10 bucks a month or 20 bucks a month and you get 10 layouts or 20 layouts a month depending on your okay um subscription if you're a divvy user and you get to serve, save unlimited layouts in the cloud so it's not bad, is it? I mean, you know, every month you'll get a, you get a layout for a dollar. You know, you get a choice of 10 layouts. So you provide the layouts or it gives them the ability to save those layouts? Up to yeah, 10. they save them to the cloud as well. So save they can them. save them into their own cloud. Okay. Uh, the idea for a page builder cloud came about, I was talking to a woman who, who the, the woman, one of my best friends in this business is a, a woman called Michelle Noonan who runs a company called DiviSoup.com. Uh, and she's a child's theme maker and a layout designer and a membership site for for Divi. And uh, she said, I, I love Layouts Cloud, but I just want my cloud. So I went, okay, you can have that. So we've now got Layouts Cloud and my cloud just for just for Layouts Cloud. So oh. from my cloud came Page Builder Cloud. So, you know, and my oh. cloud costs $35 a year. So it's just because it's only one builder. So, you know, these things just help. Don't they? These things just grow. Yeah, they can kind grow, of evolve grow, on their own. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. They just they have their own impetus. You know, you know yourself, you know, you're supplying a, a WAS product and you've got, you, you set up your multi-site or you set up whatever it is. And then all of a sudden you've got 10 clients and you've got 20 and then you've got 300 and you think, oh, you know, I need some support people here. And, Absolutely. and it all kind of grows. It's yeah. Great. It's uh, talking about growing. I'm kind of interested to hear how you actually grew the marketplace. Like how did it go from zero to where you are today? Uh, I would say it's sheer bloody mindedness. Actually, I was, uh, you know, we are, I decided that um, we would do everything we could to promote the marketplace and the vendors um, in the best possible way we could. So we spent lots of money on advertising. Mm. Um, literally every penny that came into the business for three years didn't go out of the business. You know, there are a couple of partners that wanted a drawing and we said, well, you know, do you know what, you, 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 you've got a normal job let's just invest in this this is what we agreed it was a it was basically we, we said you know 60 percent of the of the income would go to um advertising Marketing. at the very very beginning and 40 percent would go to maintaining the website and then if we had could get a dividend we'd do a dividend that a couple of people didn't like that arrangement yeah. moving forward so they kind of just left but the 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 key is is that if you're going to commit to a business you've got to commit to a business if you're going to say right this is how we're going to run it from the beginning and everyone agrees to that then let's agree to that and let's get it done so that's what happened you know 60 percent of the money that came in went out to advertising um 40 and the other remaining 40 percent went on to running the actual servers and making sure that we had enough technical developers there to to get us over any issues and let's not forget it costs money in software you know we're using easy digital downloads now mm. so that's a thousand dollars a month a thousand dollars a year, rather, you know, okay. for every single plugin. And and before we were using WooCommerce, and it was two thousand dollars a year, you know. So with yeah. all the things that you need, subscription models, licensing, everything that goes with that. So, and we also had to make sure we did an affiliate scheme at the time, which we're going to be introducing again soon into Elegant Marketplace. But we're going to be very choosy about who the the affiliates are. You know, they're going to be proper people they're not just in it for the affiliate they're in they're in it for community and they're recommending things because they've used them or they like them and stuff like that so we've learned our lessons with affiliates um so you know we were still not really bringing in even if we turned over fifty thousand dollars you know if we were, we were lucky to make five thousand dollars profit you know or commission wow. for ourselves at the end of the day so there wasn't a lot of money in it and then all of a sudden you know, the marketing had been done, the placement had been done, the the reputation had been built, good or bad, and we and we all of a sudden were the were the de facto marketplace to go to for Divi products. And it, it proved it because you know we had competitors jumping at us, 
left, right and center, you know, offering Divi products. And then there was, there was another Divi marketplace and there's another Divi marketplace and you think, okay, mm. well, you know, carry on. And it didn't really affect us. So it was, it was good, you know, oh, because yeah. they can only offer the same products that we're offering and the price know, is the, about the same. The, right? the, yeah, exactly. So, you yeah. know, that's why you either go to elegant marketplace or you go to Divi cake or you go to Divi space. It doesn't matter. Right. It's pretty much the same products. You might find a few different ones, but you know, you, you've people have their favorites, and luckily, we're we're most people's favorites, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. And you got an early start too. Now, on some of the marketing stuff, what did you guys do? Did you do Facebook ads back in the day, or did you? Was there we other did, ways? We definitely did Facebook ads back in the day. We did. Um, we learned our lesson with boosted posts. We didn't. Uh, you know, did, five years ago is almost like two decades ago as far as Facebook is concerned and, and advertising and Google AdWords and placing content, having content written for us going out there, but, you know, buying backlinks by, through uh, blog posting and, and affiliate marketing and all that kind of stuff. So now if you look at it, you can buy advertising very, very competitively, you know, rather than pay $5 a click, you're paying 50 cents a click and you're getting the same results. So you, and, and as long as you plan it properly, you can spend, I um, mean, we did an advertising campaign a few months ago. I think we spent ten thousand dollars, and it generated nearly two hundred thousand dollars in sales. Awesome. So you know, it, de- it depends what your what your advertising, what you're looking at, and you've, you've got to be very specific. But then, you know, our email marketing list is very big. You know, if we've got eighty thousand on the eighty thousand customers on the website, then we're going to have fifty or sixty thousand people that have signed up for our our newsletter. So that you know, newsletters go out twice a week. We try not to give out too many and we've changed the way we're doing that as well. We're going to give people an opportunity to say I only want once a week or once a month or never, you know, rather than (laughs) twice a week. But I do, I think email marketing, if you do it properly and you do it respectfully, you'll get very few unsubscribes and we get very few unsubscribes. There's a couple of people that email me personally and go, really? You know, another one, you send me another one. (laughs) Yeah. But then I look at the, the, the big guys out there, you know, they're sending emails every day. I know. Uh, you look, I don't know. Crazy. If you you think, well, I don't really, I'm not really interested in that. So I try and send emails that are worth it for the customer rather than me. You know, I'm looking at it. I sent out and we sent out an email today about something that's not even on our marketplace and it's not even, it I could be that. seen as a competitor, but I, I like what they're doing and I think people should be informed. Aware of it, yes, yeah. there's, there's, it's affiliated, but I still believe in it. You know, I'm not going to advertise anything that, um, any affiliate program that we're in, we've all we've tried the products and we like them. So you know, if it's a, a Gravity Forms or whatever, we, you know, we, we know we like Gravity Forms. Or if it's WS Form, we love WS Form. I think it's an amazing um, yeah. um, form builder. It's just amazing. Um, so we'll always we'll always get behind it as much as we can. You know, that's the key. I think. And then you mentioned you had some partners. That, were they always active in working in the business? or was No, it that was the year? issue. Yeah, one of them disappeared for six months, just didn't even see him. Oh, just, wow. <laughs> and then came back, knocked on the door and said, give us some money. <laughs> oh, you know, and the rest, remaining partners went, no, nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just disappear for six months and not expect to, and expect to get paid. You know, it's just ridiculous. So we, we did have some uh, issues with that. But, you know, Gino was fantastic. He, was, he, he got ill. At the time, you know, and he he went his way. Another guy said, "Well, I've got a bit of a conflict with Elegant Themes. I work for them, so I'm not I'm not going to join now." Mm. Another guy, you know, probably had about four grandmothers that died. You know, oh, wow. <laughs> so, you know, couldn't Damn. couldn't get it together to do any work. Um, uh, and basically, there were two of us left that were totally 100 percent committed to Elegant Marketplace and making it go. And unfortunately, well, you know, she died in October 20. 18. Oh, the other, the one that was with you. Well, she started the elegant asked. theme. She started Divi theme users group, you know, the Facebook group oh, um, wow. and decided to give it to elegant themes when we split because we split before she died. So it was just, um, you know, it's a bit sad, but what can you do? You can't yeah. miss her every single day, but there's nothing when you've got to be committed to the business, mm-hmm. you know, you've got to be, um, and you've got to be committed to your family. So there's, there's decisions to be made when you get sick. So that's and when you're someone like you has a lot of irons in the fire, how that seems like it'd be hard to juggle. Like you have so many things going on. I find myself kind of in that same. Yeah, you do. But then you have to kind of think about where you're going to go and what you, what you enjoy. So I, I never get up in the morning and go, Oh God, I got right. <laughs> ever. I go to, I, I do get up in the morning and go, yay. 
I can get up and go to work and then I can go and play some golf. You know, that's my, <laughs> I, I have a very positive attitude to life and, and, and general and know that we're all short lived and stuff. And we get, we, you know, the time we spend on this planet is so short mm -hmm. that you've got to enjoy it as much as you possibly can. You've got to go to work you've got to, you've got to um, really kind of educate people that you're working with to make them feel better. I mean, we've just set up a business in India, you know, we just set up another right. company in India for development purposes because the guys that work for me and have worked with Elegant Marketplace for five years, they deserve to have their own business as well. So we've set, set them up in business and made sure that they're going to be okay for the future as well. So it's, oh, nice. it's all about really building the business and then trying to let go of it gradually, you know, over a period of years. And so I haven't worked, um, you know, the full 16 hour days in this business for, a, for at least a year or maybe two years where, you know, I can go off and play golf during the day. Let's not forget I live in the UK, so most of the business comes from the USA or the, the other side of the world. I think about 15, 20% of our users are European, and my support guys can deal with all those uh, guys and, and the techie stuff. And now that um, we're part of the InMotion family, I don't have to worry about the techie side because I was looking after servers and stuff like that. So that's a, that's a massive benefit for me. Oh, that's great. Time. So now you just manage the marketing side, like sending out the emails and so on. I manage the well, I manage the marketing side, um, the vendors as well, because the vendors, you know, obviously built up a great relationship with the vendors over the five years that we've been going, um, and they're all, they still come to me and they 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 show me their plugins first or they show me their themes first, and I'll get you know up to 15, 20 messages a day, sometimes more. Wow. Can you take a look at this? And I just review it very quickly. I've got I've got loads of server space so i can just upload a plugin and just give it a quick test and say yeah that's good or that kind of didn't work or the onboarding wasn't very good or whatever and check so you're your testing everything well. yourself then huh sorry you're testing everything yourself then you're giving it a go and make sure yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 well because i'm a user you know i use plugins i use i build websites still you know um most of the websites i build are done by my developers but i still i build at least one website a month oh, wow. myself to be able to use a form plugin. You know, if I didn't know how to use a form plugin or I didn't know how to use a, a membership plugin or LMS or, you know, lifter LMS, for instance, is my go-to membership plugin, yeah. but I still need to, I still need to know how to le use learn dash. And if someone's got a plugin, that's a learn dash plugin, for instance, we've got one, which is, specifically designed a divi plugin which is specifically designed for learn dash oh. and i need to know how to use that just in case because we also offer first line support as well so and some some support questions to us are pretty obvious so okay. we can just answer it straight away rather than have have the customer go straight to the developer. Yeah. yeah you know just makes things easier for everyone really doesn't it yeah, very cool. Now, there was something that you filled out on the form that was quite interesting, which is you're, oh. uh, most people don't know about, that you're a twin, huh? I am a twin. He's much better looking and tells better <laughs> jokes. <laughs> he's a good guy. He's the funniest guy I know. Um, and he's, uh, he's my favorite person on the planet, apart from my daughter. But yeah, my brother, Bruce, is, is just a great, I mean, he's just a great guy. Really, he's a grandfather. To 13 children for goodness sake you know oh, he's wow. just ridiculous but he's a really hard working fantastic golfer you know i hate him for that plays plays off five just a, a really cool golfer and yeah works hard and, and is a funny and is an inspiration to me every single day it's great I that's love awesome him. He, he never got into businesses with you and he uh he regards computers as the work of the devil really huh. so you guys he can't stand him. so i'm his i'm his it guy <laughs> nice. He literally cannot stand them. He hates them. <laughs> just, he just. I taught him how to use Excel so that he could do some invoicing. That's all he'll do. <laughs> he, he doesn't know. He really is. He just he runs runs a mile when he sees a computer. What does he do for work? A he's a, he's got. I call him a cab driver, but he he he's actually a chauffeur. He's got oh. his own show. He's got his own show for business. Couple of cars, couple of vans, you know, sort of. You know. And he specialises in trap making people go from the airport to the London locations and doing tours of London and all that kind of stuff. And it's just what he's done for forever. You know, he's just, uh, you know, I phone him up and say, "Can I have a cab?" And he says, "I'm not a cab driver." <laughs> 
<laughs> all suited up in his big big new mercedes and everything like that so he's got and he's got a, he's got a luxury van for golf trips and stuff like that so but he enjoys his life you know he really does he has a great time and that's great and, uh, yeah he uh, he doesn't need computers he he said the only computer i need is my phone and that'll do because yeah, i can just answer good. it <laughs> just answer he uses it. no apps he doesn't use any oh apps God. or anything he's completely different to me and so he's not on lyft or uber either then huh <laughs> uh no no, no he probably doesn't need to be i mean he's yeah. properly pr- pr- you know his prices are just beyond us you know they, they, it's just incredible how much he'll he'll charge i think 500 pounds to go into london and in, in his tour you know and have a little tour for two hours in his wow. chauffeur driven car that's yeah, crazy that's crazy. Yeah, Two, I think it's, that. We live. He lives about forty minutes from from our, the biggest airport in the UK, Heathrow Airport, and uh, I think from his town to Heathrow, he'll charge a hundred pounds, which is about eighty pounds more than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> but it's wow. the full service. You know, you, you have you have full service web developers that won't touch a website for ten grand. Yeah, you'll have true. someone who do build a website for five hundred dollars. It depends which kind of service you want. You know, it's so market, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. But he's got, he's got a full service chauffeur business and he's got a couple of drivers and stuff like that. He does. He, I don't think he does too much driving these days. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Takes it easy on the golf course and just answers the phone. You know? <laughs> Very cool. So, so where does Andrew go from here? Where's, what's the next step? Uh, well, nowhere. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, um, in motion were kind enough to absorb us into their, um, business via web ventures. That was great. Um, which will help us grow and will help us continue to grow and also help us on the tech side. You know, the, the main problem with any kind of web based business is tech mm. um, host from hosting to security, to making things work properly, things break, you know, you need them fixed quickly. So they've got a few uh, very, very capable, well, they've got a lot of very, very capable techie people that work at in motion obviously from hosting sites and they know servers they know they know programming php and all that kind of stuff so there's going to be some improvements on the website there um and just i'm sticking around i mean there's no there's no uh no game no rid of you. It, there's no end date you know it's just whatever yeah. you know if they it's and i'm still running elegant marketplace on a daily basis so it doesn't doesn't really concern me or shouldn't concern anyone else where i'm going but i'm the nice thing about elegant marketplace being part of in motion is that we've got the um financial backing you know we've got that longevity we've got that legacy we've got that continuance of the business um and it, it didn't need it you know they asked me a couple of years ago to come with them i said no then they asked me last year and i said yes yeah. what, what you know what's the deal and the deal was was exactly how i wanted it i wanted autonomy for elegant marketplace i wanted to be able to talk about other hosting i want to talk about other plugins i want to talk about um progressing into wordpress plugins properly and wordpress themes as well um they're adding some products which is great because they're on the acquisition trail my vendors aren't concerned at all i had lots of conversation with vendors and they're really happy because it exposes us to a bigger market as well um, so the future for me is really elegant marketplace continuing um, we're working, to, continuing to work with at Elegant Marketplace. I'm now the product owner, if you like, rather than the owner. Yeah. Um, and I still have a lot to do with the direction. You know, 99% of, of the direction of Elegant Marketplace is based on me. The um, I've also got the autonomy to do what I like with Elegant Marketplace, within reason. You know, I'm not going to turn it into a website that people yeah. won't like. Right. But also, I can promote any kind of product, promote any kind of person doing doing. I can continue doing my web, you know, vlogs that I do here as well, and I can also uh, work independently on my own businesses like Page Builder Cloud, Layouts Cloud. Com Love plugin as well. Comment Love. I, I, my, you might have heard of Comment Love. I don't know whether you have or Com Love plugin. No, I haven't heard that one. It's basically a bloggers plugin which you put in there, and people can, if they've got the Com Love plugin, they get a free backlink, and it's a, an authority builder, basically a backlink builder. Oh, wow. um, it was, I bought that off my nephew who who invented it because he got ill, so somebody oh. had to carry that on. I'm very much a believer in leg- legacy. You know, if something's good. Don't let it go, you know, don't, don't let it go and don't let it die as a product because you're, you know, he's not well with MS and it's quite a, quite an open thing that Andy's got multiple sclerosis. So 
to support him. I purchased it from him. We're, we're trying to develop more and more, but we're getting really busy with other stuff that we're doing. Um, so Comment Love will be coming out with a, with a proper pro version and, and excellent bits in that. So look it up, Comment Love. Um, yeah, well. Commentlove.com. Uh, or put in com love and you'll find it on the WordPress repository. It had at one stage a million downloads. It's gone down to about wow. 20,000 or 10,000. They put it up to 10,000 plus, but we know it's about 30,000. I think it's 28,000 uh, since yeah. we've improved it and everything. But so comment love, page builder cloud, layouts cloud, and of course my own somebody's hero work and coaching as well. I do um, three hours a month of free coaching and about six hours a month of charged coaching. So from from businesses to helping people get over some issues that they've got with um, fellow directors, because uh, been there, done that, and um, you know, a bit of mediation going on and maybe helping businesses close down one part of the business, but make sure the other parts live and survive and right. make sure their crew are okay. You know, so it's pretty, it's pretty good. And, and running a restaurant as well and lots of stuff. You know, lots of yeah. stuff going in. I don't know how you do it all. You stay up all. Well, there's 24 time. hours in a day. They tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you stay up all of them. Huh? <laughs> yeah, and play golf. You know, as well, play golf for uh, you know twice a week minimum. So, yeah. if you if you organize it so you've got, I've got great staff. I mean, Mahesh Pandey needs to Mahesh, my my main man in uh, in India. He India. needs. He really needs some some kudos there. He's worked hard for me for five years. We've got Sean Barton, one of my best friends, a great plugin developer. Um, He's helped me with Layouts Cloud and Page Builder Cloud as well, and Com Love, um, and Michelle Noonan. Lots of people out there, Melissa Love. Without the community, I could not have done what we've done with Elegant Marketplace and all the other products as well. You know, you've got now you've got the admin bar, you've got WP Feedback, you've got you. I mean, WP Feedback, phenomenal product, which we went into yeah. a partnership with WP Feedback last September, I think. Uh, help them grow they helped us grow as well so you know it's all about when people say it's about community you kind of go oh you know oh, yeah careful. but it is it really it truly is if you embrace the community mm -hmm. and you embrace the the fact that people that you can actually trust people eventually you will go far in this business because you as long as you you go hand in hand and it's a an equit you know an equal relationship you will make um doesn't you will make money, but you it, you'll make relationships better. You What's know, going to Word Camp Asia. I'm totally looking forward to that. It, it, to meet loads of people that I've had conversations with who live in the Philippines and live in live in um, Singapore and all that, and they're really making and India, and they're making the effort to go to to Word Camp Asia and to go over there and make sure that you you know you look somebody in the eye and say thanks for your help two years ago. You know, yeah. Because cool. you you advised me on a Facebook group, you told me to do this, and thank, I'm here to say thanks. Have yeah. a drink. <laughs> it's about yeah. that, really. It really is. It's too too bad we can't do more of it. I mean, everything's online, you know. Or, so it's, it's situations like this. That's why actually I started this whole profile is to have these sort of conversations and be able to make those little those connections a little deeper than just having texts going back and forth. So sure. exactly, and it's also about. I mean, I support financially some you know a lot actually most months I, I you know i donate to a thing called wp and up which helps yeah, yeah, people yeah. who have got issues in workplace issues and stuff that i can't coach because you can't coach everybody or you can't have a good um you can't have a good conversation or a build-up conversation with with everybody every single day so wp and up i think they've helped around about seven eight thousand wordpress users get over various issues whether it's accounting or anxiety or problems with dealing with clients or something like that so you know I, I like to promote WP and up as well and they, they're a good bunch of people there's a lot of yeah, people who work there for you know just nothing so it's yeah. and that's what the WordPress community is about and we if we are truly going to say we are a WordPress community that supports each other and every single person out there that works in WordPress that doesn't have an issue with working or doesn't have a problem getting business or doesn't have a problem getting up in the morning and going to work. If all those people gave a dollar to WP and up, then everybody who did have those issues would be like them in say three months time because yeah. they would get the necessary support to be able to build them up. And the more we build up this community, this wonderful WordPress community, the, the better for everybody. So win-win for everyone. 
yeah, it's so much better for everybody to, uh, to have this cooperation between each other. It's, um, so anyway, that's the end of my lecture. <laughs> give, give w, everybody give WP and up a dollar. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. We'll awesome. have millions of dollars. I'll put the link down below or above this. Um, this oh, that would be great. If you could. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Be really cool. That would be really cool. Well, very cool. I know you're you got you're a busy man. You got a lot going on, so I don't want to keep you for too long. It's already. Oh, no, you're fine. Yeah. I appreciate your time, and it was I enjoyed everything you had to say. That was very interesting to learn a lot more about you, and I can't wait Brilliant. to go check out those sites and get more involved. Well, check them out, especially Page Builder Cloud and Elegant Marketplace. You know, those are the those yeah. are my two faves at the moment, and just just you know enjoy. Definitely and will spread the word. <laughs> we will for sure. Awesome. And I love your mustache. Well done. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's part of the brand trying to do something where it's recognized. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> and a nice hat as well. God, thank I must you. get a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm going to lose my hair wearing a hat all the time, but it's yeah, worth it. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, I've got, yeah. Oof, I'm lucky to have my hair still. You are right. lucky. <laughs> thank you, Michael. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Time you've, you've extended me today. Thank you. And have a great one. I appreciate right. you having thank you. Thank you very much. See you.